Let's take five minutes with the Amana Smart Thermostat. Okay, I have already pulled my vacuum. I have already released my refrigerant. Now I'm gonna come and turn my power on. You never want to apply power to the unit prior to pulling your vacuum or any time that you're gonna get there and just any time before you release the refrigerant, you do not want to apply power. But let's say that that's all done. Now I've come to my menu, I've set it up, and I've got it going. I just wanna push begin setup, okay? I'm going to come in here, and it's gonna give me all these options. There's five of them. There's communication, personalization, equipment setup, system optimization, and preferences. Here's what I wanna do. Is my customer home or not? Okay, if my customer's at home, I definitely want to go into communications and I want to set up the Wi-Fi. Of course, this one here, it already has a Wi-Fi set up. So we'll be looking at it and say, okay, I want to set up my Wi-Fi. So you'll have to have the customer to give you their password. Once the customer gives you their passwords, you can continue. Let's just say the customer said, hey, I'm going to run down the road Go to the store for a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, she's not back yet, or he's not back yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back out, and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna sit there and I wanna look at equipment setup. That's my first thing. Okay, when I click on equipment setup, do I see my heat pump and do I see my air handler? Or do I see my outdoor unit and do I see a furnace and a coil? It will say EEV coil. It will say furnace. But this one, I have a heat pump and an air handler. That is the first thing I'm gonna wanna see. You might be thinking, what if I don't see that? Okay, here's some good indicators. If you don't see it, then you have a communications error. It is preferable and I will always say it is preferable to have 18 gauge, not 14, not the mini split wire, but 18 gauge stranded wire. So what we want, we want 18 gauge stranded wire. It will actually help the communications. And you say, why would that help the communications? What that does when you have an 18 gauge stranded wire, let's think about theory for a minute. In theory, voltage runs into the center of a copper wire. Communications runs to the outside of a copper wire. So if I have one single strand of copper, like our typical thermostat wire will be, then all I'm gonna have is communications on the outside of that one wire. If I have stranded wire, I'm gonna have all those wires and every wire is gonna have communications being able to travel on the outside of that wire. That is why that it is better and that it is preferred on these units on an inverter system because of the communication. All right, let's go back. I see my heat pump and I see my air handler. So I know those are in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit next step and if I've got next step, it's going to say systems test. So let's go in here and let's say, I want to run my systems test. If you don't run a systems test, the system will not operate. So let's go in, let's run. Now, I'm not looking at optional test. There's an optional test. I don't want to run an optional test. I don't want to go into charge mode. I want to go into system test. 
when I go into system test, it tells me this, and it's, it's updated, it used to say 10 to 15 minutes. Now it just says 15 minutes. It takes all 15 minutes. So let's go in there, we'll see it, and we can hit run test, and it is going to run the test that is going to test our system so that it can optimize and it can make sure that everything is functioning correctly. All right, once I hit my run test, it's going to jump or you can go back and I'm going to want to say I need to go into charge mode. Guys, this will be the next step. You'll want to go into charge mode if my fingers will work. Now, once it says charge mode, run test, I am going to want to run that test. I'm going to want to jump in there, let it ramp up. This is going to ramp up my this is going to ramp up my compressor outdoor and my unit. It is going to bring it up. Will it bring it up in two minutes? No, it's not going to bring it up in two minutes. It's not going to bring it up in five minutes. Guys, it's going to take approximately 30 minutes. Now, with the amount of smart stat, they have a new system where that you can go through your phone and run all the tests and do all the programming through your phone. I highly recommend it because it is something that will benefit you down the road. And we'll talk about that in a little bit later episode. We just wanted to get you into charge mode. I'm into charge mode. My unit is ramping up. I'll wait my approximately 30 minutes if I'm doing it this way. Then I'm going to go out there and I'm going to check charge. I'm going to check and make sure that outdoors I am meeting plus or minus one what my PSI is on my subcool. Guys, continue with me. We'll take another look at it on the next episode.